you're streaming your favorite video game, or you're creating your next YouTube video. But there's something lacking. You know what it is, it's your audio. Now, I know for me, if a video is lacking in the video quality department, I can forgive it, that's fine. But audio is bad. I've been at fault for this myself. I just can't finish the video, I can't do it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be compare what I think are the two best budget microphones comprising of two different sectors, kind of the studio microphone side and a wireless lavalier setup. I have scoured the internet. I have watched the YouTube videos. I have read countless reviews, all that you don't have to. First, we have the Fifine A678, K678, a condenser cardioid USB microphone. And I have to say, between the build quality and amazing audio, this has become my favorite microphone to use while streaming or making sit down style YouTube videos like this one. This is an all metal construction. The microphone, the stand, the grid, everything is metal. And it just feels like it is a high quality piece of equipment. So as you can see on the front, you have a nice mute button. And when it's green, it's on. When it's red, it was off. On the bottom, you've got your, it's a mount for what would be used on a tripod. And it comes with an adapter so you can use it on a boom stand as well. You've got an input for a headphone so you can do, you can monitor. And then it has the USB cable. And it comes with a very nice USB cable with metal junctions on each end. On the back, you've got the microphone gain, which you can see I've got this somewhere around 35, 40%, and then also your monitor or your headphone gain. As you can see here, the specs are that it is a condenser mic. It has a polar pattern that is cardioid, meaning that it rounds out to the front and really doesn't catch anything back behind it, which makes it really good for a studio style mic or for YouTube or streaming or anything like that, where you can have the mic placed in front of you. It has a frequency response of 40 to 20,000 Hertz, a sensitivity of negative 45 D plus or minus three, three decibels, a signal to noise ratio of 85 decibels, Power supply, which it gets from the USB cable, is 5 volt, 80 milliamp. It just uses a standard USB 2.0 connection and the shipping weight. Next, we have the wireless microphone setup. I love having a wireless lav, like when I want to do any kind of content that requires me to move around, whether it's a DIY video or where I'm showing how things work, or you know, even if it's something that goes outside. Having this allows you to go anywhere and the range is ridiculous. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my shirt and then I'm gonna switch over to the lav mic. Now I'm on the lav mic. Now I will say that this is more of a generic brand system if you look on Amazon, you can see that there are plenty like this Hotec. Uh, this is the one that I got right here, the UHF wireless microphone system. Uh, there's the Alvox Con, uh, the Nasum, uh, another Alvox Com. So there's a lot of different ones out there, but they're all the same. The biggest difference is it's going to be what accessories that come with it. I chose this particular one because of the stand and the uh, cold shoe mount that uh, allows me to attach it to the side of my, uh, my camera. Now, if we go over it, it does have a metal body. Uh, the bottom and top are plastic. 
Uh, it's very simple. You've got the input, which has a threaded adapter, so that way your lav mic can't get pulled out of the transmitter. Power button, antenna, and then on the front, let's hold it like this for you guys. Very simple controls. If you use these buttons individually, it changes your volume gain. If you press them both at the same time, it just cycles through the channels. And you don't have to do anything with the receiver. It will automatically flip to the next channel. Now, these two mics, in my opinion, represent the best bang for the buck in their specific category. The FeeFind has all the controls and options you would expect in a mic that costs twice as much, and all the audio performance in a mic that costs way more. The wireless lav system has really surprised me, not only with the sound quality and wireless range, but its overall ease of use in any kind of video that I want to do. So in closing, which I'm going to switch back and forth, we're on the lav system. Now we're on the fee fine. These mics both represent that budget option that people are looking for. Um, with the fee fine, if we look on Amazon, right now it's selling for $59.99. Now, when I bought it about a week or two ago, it was $43. So always pay attention to Amazon. There's always sales going on. And even right now, it's an extra 5% off if you apply a coupon if you have Amazon Prime. But even at $60, it's an amazing microphone. And I can't recommend it enough. Now, going over to the, let's see here. Going over to the lav system, I love having this because I, I love having the freedom to be able to go anywhere with the mic and not have it be cumbersome, not have to worry about a boom. And I can still get my audio and it's still relatively clean. So between these two options, these are the best, in my opinion, budget options to up your stream or YouTube video quality. I will have links below for both of these microphones. And I trust that, you know, if you get either of these microphones, you're going to love the audio quality that you get out of them. So with that being said, thank you for stopping by. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope that maybe we can get some more subscribers so we can build this up a little bit more. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good evening or a good day, and I will see you in the next one.